No, Captain Lou. Your splendid service as an interpreter is appreciated. But when you try to tell me stories of mesmerism, occultism, men without souls, hordes of supermen capable of annihilating armies of tame men, you make me wonder which of us is tame. General, I, I dare say uh, I failed in my presentation of the facts. No, no, not facts, but the ravings of a mad Cambodian priest. No, Luke, it's too fantastic. Read that last. General Headquarters, Austrians bringing up veteran shock troops. One Send moment. Me. I wish I could believe in your robot. I could use several regiments of them right now. That's all. Yes, sir. You don't have to tell me you failed on one. I can read your emotions in your face just as easily as you read the dead languages. You can't find a language in which to convince General Duval. No, the chances are you apologized, stammered. He barked and you retreated without firing a shot. Wish I had your assurance, faculty of knowing your objective and driving straight at it. Well, it's simple. Just impress the other fellow to know more than he does. It has been called ego, Cliff. Oh, yes, but I like the American phrase better. Intestinal fortitude. Don't rub it in. Well, someone should. You know, I admire your knowledge and you envy my ego. Well, I'll take half your knowledge and you take half my ego and we'll have two smart men. <laughs> How much of this high priest story do you believe? Oh, I think there is such a thing as black magic. Call it superstition if you want, I don't know. But I don't believe that you can turn human beings into automatons or, as you call them, zombies. Do you believe in mental telepathy? Might be something to it, I don't know. Well, science does. It's an established fact, Cliff, that in the Orient, the last of an ancient race lives by the laws of telepathy. Their, their knowledge, their rituals, are, they're guarded by just such priests as this man, Pio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll buy your tribe a mental telegraphist, but I'll not buy your robot. Now look, Cliff. Tiong here comes from Angkor, where according to their legends, Angkor was built by these robots. Thousands of tireless, feelingless human machines. Yes, yes, I know, and they call them zombies. Controlled and directed mentally by their priest king. Yes, and Tiong here is the last descendant of that priest king and the only man alive that knows the secret of the zombie. Tiong. Bakan oi sava. Bakan an Tiong. Nya oi tang tone. I don't believe a word of it. He says that, he says that the general keeps his ears in the ground like, like, like the ears of a corpse. That he'll not listen to the words of wisdom. Well, what does he want to do? Get the general from earphones? Eva pray until I. Patek. Chang. Chang vatoi. Akpuila. Tiang still insists his gods say he must create zombie soldiers. He says he'll show us how a handful of zombies can take an entire enemy trench. <laughs> 